Hey guys, it is Exact Designs here today, and I will be showing you how to make a standard 3D text YouTube background. First, you want to go onto YouTube.com and search in uh, Photoshop templates for free. Uh, for this, also, you will need to download Photoshop, whichever version you feel like, and also Cinema 4D. There will be tutorials on the internet on how to get those for free. Yeah. So get a template, I have four of them right here, save them to a PSD file, which is for Photoshop, then open, yeah, sorry, uh, open which one you want, I usually use my number two because it's got a little divider in the middle, open that, wait for it to load, usually it glitches out, gotta click it again, make it to the size you want, then what you want to do is open Cinema 4D. Now this is how to make 3D text. This is a simple way to do it. You do MoGraph, text object, and then choose whatever font you want. And then type in your text right down here. I'll choose font. The one I use for my channel is called True Crimes. If you want to download that, you can probably go on defont.com. Link will be in the description. And then you want to go to object right here. Type in whatever text you want. I'll do Z exact, like that. Position it to where you want it to go, obviously. Uh, zoom in, do whatever. Whoops, it's a little too far. <laughs> zoom in, do whatever you want. Move it closer to you if you feel like it. There. Then I will make the depth 100 for this. And then what you want to do is Control C, Control V. So there's two ep. Yeah. Once again, stuttering. But um, two text objects, and they're identical to each other. Go to the one that's on top and change the depth to whatever you want, 75, just a little bit less. Tilt your camera so that you can see. It's You can move it, move the second layer to the middle. Move your camera back, and then go to caps at the top. Change the first cap to fill a cap, and the second cap to fill a cap. Then what you want to do, go back to object, and I think that's it for the text, but then if you want Colors, go to New Material, double click it, go over Color, I'll do Lime Green, so just go all the way up on Green and down on the other two. So we got that, and if you want a nice little reflection on it, I usually put this at about 25%, so yeah. And then what I'll do is I'll put that on the front layer, Control R to render it, and there you go, you have your text. Now, this is the tricky part, you need to watch this carefully if you want to transfer 3D text from Cinema 4D to Photoshop. What you want to do is go to Render Settings, go to Save. Make sure, just save it to your desktop, I guess. That's what I'm doing. Save it as the exact. Uh, save it to the desktop. And you want the format, go down. I'm on a Mac. It's going to be PNG on Windows, I'm pretty sure. But Mac OS Portable Networks Graphing graphics image which is a PNG file. Go to output and change the preset to film and video and change it to whatever you want. I use 720p. Then what you want to do, go back to save, sorry, and then make sure you click alpha channel. This will make sure that the background is not black, that the background has nothing in it, so you'll just have the text. Then after this, exit out, render it, and now what you want to do is save as, sorry, don't change that, press OK, save it to my desktop like I said, it's the exact PNG, perfect, save, and replace, because uh, I think it already saved, but I didn't have the settings right. Then what you want to do is you can do that anything, like mine says exact designs, and you just want to just, bleh. I'm stuttering like crazy today, sorry. Change the text on both of them to designs, or once again, whatever text you want, and save it as the same thing. Then, how to get it onto here. You want to do Control O, or Command O, to open a new file. Then you want to open your text object, and see how it's got no background now, just the text. If you've gotten this far, that's good. If you have any questions, or if I'm going too fast for you, um, just leave a comment and I will help you out. So you want to right click the layer down here, duplicate it, and make sure it's to template 2 or whatever, whichever one your template's on. 
and yeah, press OK, and then you go back to it, and it should be right there. Use a moving tool at the top left-hand corner. Use Control T or Command T to move your text around, make it smaller, bigger, uh, thin, whatever. Make mine right about here. Yeah, that's good. And then, yeah. And if you want to make it on both sides, you duplicate the layer, just press Enter. Use the moving tool to move it exactly opposite. Once again, do Control T to edit it whatever way you want. Put it on the side, put it a little bit lower down. Um, there will be other tutorials on how to add stuff to it, but once again, this is just a simple 3D text tutorial. And then you have the template like this. Uh, you can change the text on Cinema 4D. You can change the color of it. What you want to do now is save this. So you want to go to File, Save As. This is once again. This is a basic tutorial. I will have more in-depth ones for fire, flare, smoke, all that good stuff. Sorry. Uh, file Save As. Uh, save it as a JPEG. That's what I usually do. I save it to high quality though. Save it to your desktop. Save. And usually do high quality because you don't want it maximum because it's going to be just a huge file for what it really needs. It doesn't need to be maximum. Then what you want to do is go on to youtube.com, go to your channel, and go to my channel. Let's pause my video. There's my face. I look like an idiot. <laughs> Sorry, uh, themes and colors. Go to this one. Um, this is from my friend's background that I made. Um, show advanced options. I use Georgia as the text. Delete his file. <laughs> Such a nice friend. Go to desktop, and then what you want to do, template to JPEG. want to open that. And then, voila, you have the 3D text. Now you can mess around with all this stuff, make it good. What I usually do is I make the backgrounds black and then the text the same as my text. So top three are going to be like that. And then the rest of them are going to be lime green, just like my text. Sorry, I'm just going to change all of them really quickly. There you go. Scroll down and you have your background. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and... Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you click Save Changes. I'm not going to because my other background's better. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's other tutorials you want me to put up. I'll be glad to help. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, guys. I'm out. Bye.